So here's what's going on. The message was about what? About being baptized. And in this case, it was who being baptized? Jesus. All right, so here's a cup of water. What can you do with water? Yes. You could. What can you do with water? You can drink it. What else can you do? You can baptize them. What else? Bathe them. What else? What else? I still didn't hear you. Swim! Yeah. What else? You can clean, you can wash, you can bathe. Alright, thank you. So, that is the case. Water is some powerful stuff. Um, have you ever seen pictures of Niagara Falls? Anybody ever been there? Ask if you have. If all the rest of you who have not been there, ask your parents to please plan a trip to see the Niagara Falls. When you stand near the falls, you watch the water coming down, and you can hear the power. But the other thing that's amazing about it is that that water is used to generate electricity. You say, how can water generate electricity? Well, I'm not a scientist, and I don't claim to be one. Yes? I have a water generator. Ah. So it can move a wheel so that, that power is something that generates electricity to cut it out. There you go. That's good. Excellent. But water can also do something else. What? Put out fires. From a spiritual perspective, what can water do for you? Make you happy? Make you healthy? Yeah. Water is representative of cleansing. Even as we bathe, bathing, washing. And water is what is said of baptism. And when we are baptized, it washes away our sins. But the real case is that water doesn't baptize us. Baptism doesn't wash away sins at all. What washes it away is our faith in Jesus Christ. And when we believe in Jesus Christ, he is the one who washes away our sins. Now, what is this? This? A pencil. You don't know if you have. You don't know. Ask your parents, okay? 
uh, because you will need to be baptized. All right? If you believe in Jesus Christ, then you need to be baptized. Amen? Let's pray. Father.